Okay, the uh, this part we need to uh, really start thinking about how we're going to attach this to our body. So let's go ahead and control up arrow. It will bring this into view. I'm going to rename this object hand, and I'm kind of getting to where we're going with this. So we get back out of that. We can go ahead and resave our scene. It's body 10. Then we're going to open. Um, uh, I think it's seven. Yes, seven. And this one, you can see that I had already started this, but uh, let's go ahead and get rid of those. Okay. Well, we have our body mesh in here, and let's rename that. Rename that to body. And what we can do now is append. Whoops! Don't want to do that. File append or link then we need to go and find 10 there we go and let's go ahead and open up an object and we'll open up the hand and you don't see it because it's on a different layer see so let's go ahead and put this oh yeah I guess we have to select it hit M and we'll put it on layer 2 with the body so now if we look in here, they're both on layer 2. Let's pull that up on the z-axis. Okay, let's go to the front. Pull it out. And this is how we'll get our hand on our model. But uh, for now, um, we're not going to put it on the model. I just want to get it set up for that, and then we're going to start working on the feet. So let's go ahead and save the scene. Control, well, this is F2. We're going to save it as 10, because that's the one that uh, we're on. Did it just say I can't overwrite the library? Cannot overwrite the library. Okay, well, we'll just save it as 11. 11, there we go. Save file. Okay, so now we're on 11. Um, what's in layer 1 here? Just our camera and stuff. All right. Let's go ahead and select our model, tab into that, and I'm going to put the cursor over there and center on it. Okay, I just did that so we can get up close. I'm going to select that loop, cursor selection, and go to the top, and space, oh we got to get out of edit mode. If we add an object in edit mode it's going to make it part of this object, so let's tab out of edit mode. Let's add a plane, let's scale the plane down considerably and tab out of edit mode and let's go ahead and put it in layer 3 <clears throat> here we are let's go ahead and scale it down a little bit more okay so we're gonna do quite similar whoops wrong button quite similar to what we did with the hand model except this is basically the heel I'm just gonna extrude this out and screw it out again, scale that up, extrude, scale that down. Now the foot, let's even rotate that. And let's do some vertex tweaking. The foot, um, it doesn't really, uh, we don't really need to do as much when it comes to uh, adding the fingers on the hand. We don't really need all that definition. Um, I mean, if you want to put that definition in there, then, you know, that's fine. It's absolutely okay. But generally speaking, I really don't uh, mess with it that way. Let's put a division here. I'm just kind of getting a basic, basic foot shape. Okay, that might, I don't really want to mess with that too much. Okay, so that's our basic foot shape. Let's go ahead and tab out of edit mode, and let's go back to this layer, and let's go to the bottom. Tab into edit mode. Well, select your object first. Tab into edit mode, and let's uh, see how many vertices we have here. Cursor selection. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11. It looks like we have 11. I'd rather have 12, as it's a better number. But we have 11. So let's look at where we might be able to add a division. Okay, we have some pretty tight divisions right there. And we may be able to take one up. Whoops. Huh. Nice view of the hand there. Uh, we might be able to take one up somewhere in here. Maybe behind the breast. Let's see what happens if we add a division right here. We know it's going to go all the way down. Whoops. And it comes out to the wrist. And that'll help us there as well. We can probably work with that. We could have put one in the back. We could have put one just about anywhere. But let's work with that one for now. So let's go ahead. I'm going to pull that out on X. I'm going to hold down Shift. Just, just barely pull it out. And you can see it adds a little bit of uh, dipping in here. So let's go ahead and we're going to have to do a little bit of tweaking. Whoops. We don't want to go too far with this and take too long. Let's grab these and smooth them. Smooth. Let's also do this so we can see a little bit better. Smooth, smooth. There we go. And we might just do that all the way down. Chances are we're going to have to go back and work on our leg a little bit anyway, but for now we'll just do this. I'm actually going to take that down on Z a little bit. This one as well. Kind of revisiting the body a little bit. Let's take uh, these down too. And then just the center one. <clears throat> and you shift, and I'm just going to eyeball some of these. Get these kind of lined out a little bit better. Okay. So anyway, now we have 12 down there. Cursor selection, C, there we go. Now we know we have 12, so <coughs> we can tab out of that. We can head back to our layer. And this is just helping us know that we have 12 to work with, so let's actually go back up. And yeah, let's go to, uh, not shaded, uh, let's go to textured, no, nope. solid. Okay, and yeah, let's save our scene. 11 okay so let's tab back in edit mode let's go to the top and I'm going to I'm, I'm considering at least making um, some little dips for the toes um, I'm considering it so eh, I don't know one two well we already know there's gonna be um, seven right there this would make it eight 
but we're not going to worry about that. Let's go ahead and get those faces. Actually, I'm one step ahead of myself. Let's go back to edges. And I'm going to take these up a little bit, grab them, move them up on Z ever so slightly. And these I want to take down on Z. It's a little bit augmented. That's okay. Take that down. As time goes, we're going to add a little bit uh, more definition. So now let's go to these faces. Just select all of them. E, extrude region. Let's go Z. Just pull it up. Let's go to the front. And I'm going to rotate it. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to rotate it. No, I'm not. Okay. So let's go back into edges. Pull those up a little bit on Z. Okay. Let's take these out a little bit, not this one. This outer edge. Alt S. It'll just help round out that heel. And let's go ahead and split that. V is our hotkey. And let's undo that. Okay. Let's add a division right there, and one right there. So we had, uh, we have now, we had 8, now we have 9, 10, 11, 12, right back there. So let's go to the top, which is not 1, it's 7. Turn on the back side. Let's go to vertices, A to D select those, B for box. Let's do some, a little bit of tweaking. So overall that looks okay. Let's add another division across here. I'm just going to scale it up on X. And let's move it on X just a little bit. There we go. Okay, it's just a little bit better shape for our foot. Let's turn off backside and go into perspective view. Okay. Well, let's kind of start pulling these up. G, Z. Yeah, I really guess I really didn't need to do that. Let's go ahead and go to faces. I actually need to select all of those faces because we need to extrude it again. E, region. Let's hit Z. Make sure that you're getting it up on Z. And let's uh, shrink it down, Alt S. Let's pull it up a little bit higher. Let's go to the side. And I'm going to rotate it. This is the back over here. You can tell from the 3D cursor. Let's go like so. Let's pull it up a little bit more on Z. Rotate it just a little bit more. And now we're going to go and select these edges. Let's actually Alt right mouse button. Select that whole thing. Let's rotate that just a bit. <coughs> okay. And this is pretty much the basis of our foot. Grab these outer ones and smooth them. Okay, let's smooth that and this one as well and this is our basic foot we're going to do kind of a simple foot now if I wanted to um, add these toes like I was talking about I would actually probably start here